ever fired off a reply online and like immediately regretted it, the yeah. second you hit send, ugh, it's the worst feeling. Happens to the best of us. Well, good news, everyone listening, this deep dive is for you. We're talking about how to basically hit the pause button on those reactions, especially those like knee jerk responses, you know, when someone's just being negative online. Oh, worse. Ugh, the worst. So we're diving into mindfulness, but in a way that like, actually helps you deal with those, what do we call them in the notes, passionate online discussions. I should have. Without like losing your, you know. Right, right. So your source material, it jumps right into this whole pause idea. And basically it's about noticing your feelings before you hit send. Which, okay, sounds kind of simple, maybe even obvious when you say it like that. So what's the catch? What's the source material missing, you think? Well, I mean, our brains, they're kind of wired to react quickly, mm -hmm. especially when we feel, you know, attacked or threatened. Yeah. I always think about that moment in a video game where you're like one hit away from game over and you just want to chuck your controller at the screen. You're so frustrated. Tell me about it. I've broken a controller or two. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but like taking a pause, it gives you back that control. Although I will say in real life, the stakes are usually a little higher than, yeah. you know, beating the final boss or whatever. Yeah. That's true. Unleashing like a... I don't know, like a sarcastic emoji storm on some random commenter. It doesn't usually end well, does it? Not usually the best look. Not my best look. Speaking of not the best look, your source, it uses the story of this guy, Tom, to really show this. Can you tell us about Tom and what happened to him? Yeah, so picture this. Tom's online, just minding his own business, when bam, he gets this super nasty message, just like the kind that makes you see red. We've all been there. Oh, absolutely. So of course, Tom's first instinct is to fire back. You know, give this person a taste of their own medicine. Oh, that urge to clap back, it is strong. So what happens next? Does he give in? Well, here's where it gets interesting. He remembers this whole pause thing. So mm -hmm. instead of, you know, letting the trolls win, he takes a breath, like actually steps away from the computer for a few minutes, lets the anger subside. Wow, that is, that takes some serious self-control. I feel like this is where that whole fight or flight response comes in that we always hear about, right? Exactly, and you know, Understanding the science behind it can actually be really helpful. When we encounter something that feels like a threat, even online, our amygdala, which is like the brain's alarm system, it totally freaks out. Starts sending out stress hormones like cortisol, and suddenly we're in survival mode, ready to fight or flee, even if the threat is just like, you know, bad grammar in a YouTube comment. So you're telling me my brain basically processes a mean tweet the same way it would process, like a bear attack. Well, okay, maybe not exactly the same, but you get the idea. The point is, pausing, it interrupts that whole automatic hair trigger response. It gives the prefrontal cortex, which is the part of the brain that's like, you know, in charge of thinking things through, making good decisions. It gives that part of the brain a chance to catch up. So instead of like accidentally starting a Twitter war, Tom takes a breath, calms down, and he just ignores it. He does. And you know what? He feels this wave of relief wash over him. Like he's so grateful that he didn't get sucked into this pointless online argument. And honestly, I think that right there, that feeling, that's what this whole technique is all about. It really makes you wonder though, like those times when you don't pause, when you react instantly, what's going on in your brain then? Is it possible to train yourself to kind of like be more aware of those moments, those physiological responses? It totally is. And that's the exciting part. The more we practice hitting that pause button, we're literally rewiring our brains strengthening the pathways that are all about thoughtful responses instead of reactive ones. This has been seriously so insightful. Thank you. So to wrap up, what's the one thing you want our listener to take away from this whole deep dive? I'd say, remember this, pausing, it's not about suppressing your emotions. It's about becoming aware of them before you choose how to respond. It's a small shift, you know, in how you think, but it can make a huge difference in your life. So for the next week, Try paying attention to those moments when you feel that urge to react. You might be surprised by what you discover. And who knows, you might even avoid a Twitter war or two.